what's up 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 this your girl mystic sunflower i'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading it doesn't matter what your sign is sunseeds for this message to resonate just please make sure you're using discernment take what resonate and leave the rest behind let's tap in sunseeds let's tap in Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels, Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energy for the collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close, shut, and block that door. Please and thank you. for the collective senses. Anything other than I is my light, please close, shut, and block that door. Anything other than please close the door that are open and up, knowing and unknowing. Please and thank you. I'm hearing there's a change that's coming. Spirit is, um, Spirit is saying that, um, for someone, things are going to get better. Things are about to get better for you, okay? If someone has hurt you or if you have been going through something challenging, spirit is saying it's going to get better, okay? Somebody could even felt like their spirit was broken. Holy Spirit, any messages for the collective that you want me to relate to them? I can't make it up. Trust in divinity, okay? If you was dealing with anything challenging or, or some type of heartbreak, or things seemed a little bit out of balance. Spirit is saying that it's going to get better. You can definitely trust. <laughs> you can trust in that, okay? And we have divinity. Whoever you are, earth angel. Give me more Holy Spirit. We have 22 here. Yeah, things are coming in into balance. I just said that. Things are about to be balanced in your life. We have 9 and 2. Breaking down to 11. You could be seeing the number 11 a lot. But you're awakening to something. You could definitely be awakening to your divinity. Um, stepping into your divinity. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, the number 11 speaks about... 9 and 2 breaking down to 11 speaks about justice. Yeah, I just think 333. Um, three, three. Yep. Yeah, you're about to get justice for a situation. 2-2, two, two, break it down to a 4, the emperor. Yeah. Something is about to go in your, your favor. Whoever you are, divine feminine, divine masculine. Holy Spirit, give me more of this energy. is being washed away because it's been so very long since we had got any rain and now it's just pouring down and I'm just like oh man y'all know I knew my eight one day once y'all know how much I love the rain and you know the rain I feel like when the rain comes it just like it washes away everything you know and we need rain you need rain how is the you know for the trees the plants and everything to grow yeah, I just heard count your blessings, show gratitude. Something is about to look up for you. Holy Spirit, give me this energy. Thank you. Yeah, I can't make it up to you, son. Thieves, it's a gift that you're about to get. Mm hmm. Something is about to be given to you. Yeah, your chakras, they're in alignment. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
unexpected money single sexy successful everything is about to look up somebody could have brought you down really bad okay and it could have you know blew your chakras out of balance but now things are now about to be balanced out um i feel like with this unexpected money and this gift divine is definitely um blessing you with a new opportunity thank you holy spirit yeah relationship a lot of you guys are going into relationships partnerships okay your future looks really bright I'm hearing what goes up must come down. What goes around must come around. So there's something that um there's something you're being rewarded with now because of some type of um, good deed that you done before. Yeah. Um, with this gift, seventeen breaking down to the star card, you have healed something in your bloodline. You have healed something within your bloodline. And there's a gift that's being passed down to you um, because they trust you. Yeah. Whatever this torch is that's, that's, that's um, being held down to you, um, that's allowing you to step into your divinity, I'm hearing hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Not down. Don't hold it down. Hold it up. Yeah. Something is being restored in your life where all your chakras are being balanced. It's like somebody is getting a second chance. Take that heart. You know how that may resonate with your situation. But spirit just wants you to know that you're getting a second chance. Yeah, but there's someone that is that tried to hurt you. It's um, really upset with, with this evil eye being here. Because something ended out with you guys. Yeah, if there was any voodoo or this person trying to... Um, mm, that is over with. Any type of voodoo, you broke some type of um, curse. Okay? Mm-hmm. You're being rewarded by the divine because of some type of um, curse you broke down. Uh, maybe it was hard for your, you know, you know, for your bloodline to do this, but you're the one who, yeah, awakening. You're the one who did it. You could definitely be awakening to the fact that there was some type of voodoo going on in your bloodline uh, where it was a cycle of um, constant, you know, relationships uh, with people doing the same thing to people and your connection. Maybe you could also, you know, see your your, your family or your bloodline that there was a, a pattern of the same thing um somebody's upset because you you was the one to be able to break that um yeah i can't make it up awakening and star seed you have awakening star seed you have awakening mm -hmm. you was chosen you realize something it's like you figure it out mm -hmm. it could have even been poverty it could have been poverty over your bloodline. You know, people, you know, dealing with challenges where um, they were struggling and going through things. But, uh-uh, you're the one who's breaking this. Yeah. The veil has been lifted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see. <clears throat> you see clearly. It's like you figured out what the problem was. You figured it out. Yeah, whoever you are, like I said, with that 17, with the gift, you are, the, the 17 is the star card. You have healed something, and it's major. Someone is in their thoughts. They worry because you see something. Yeah, you see something, high priestess. A lot of you guys are high priestess. You figured it out. Yeah, these love spells, these love spells, people trying to control and manipulate and get you know get you to be in you know connection that doesn't serve your highest good yeah you're realizing that yeah but when it comes to these commitments you know people that's trying to you know um leave you used and abused confused you know just to control you know yeah you you over here unbothered yeah abundance yeah you i'm telling you yeah this is this abundance give me like the um the Ten of Pentacles. You're a healer, Sunseeds. You're a healer. Mm hmm There's some type of ancestral gift that's being passed down to you. I'm hearing everybody proud of you. Yeah. Karma. This is your good karma. You see the sun right here? 
the sun is about to come out for someone, some 10 on one. Like, if you, I'm telling you, if you was crying and you was going through a storm in your life, all of that is gone. Your good karma is now about to pay off, son. See? Yeah, because you love yourself. Look, self-love and rising star. Yep. You loved yourself. You are this rising star that's stepping into your divinity. And whatever way you, you know, in your life that, you know, um, this rising star is going to resonate. But you're the star. This is how your bloodline views you. Yeah. Imprisonment. You know. <clears throat> this is someone being trapped in their head. A mental prison feeling stuck. Feeling confined. Not knowing what to do. Yeah. You broke it. You broke it. Divine, I got a divine masculine here and a karmic masculine with an entity attachment, community. There could have been a karmic masculine, but betraying to be a divine masculine. Um, what this community is giving, like, um, this could have been someone that was close to you. Um, or it's also given like family, you know, there could be, um, you know, karmic in it. Something about your bloodline is very war you. And, you know, these karmics, they be attracted to that. Okay. But I feel like you took a minute and stepped back and, you know, um, figured out what was the, what was the problem. And you decided to focus on yourself with self-love and it's attracted a divine masculine or a divine feminine into your life. Yeah. Whoever you are, Earth Angel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you you're seeing through the veil. You realize who's a karmic and who's who's who you could see a, a you could um recognize a karmic masculine or a karmic feminine um right away, you know. Yeah, you being able to see someone who's in a divinity, you know, someone who um who's someone who's of the light like you, there can't be nobody coming back. Or anyone entering your life trying to wear a mask. Because you'll be able to see right through it. Yeah. And, you know, you being in this, this high vibrational energy is causing a lot of conflict to these thieves. Yeah. Intuitive cat because your intuition is, is popping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They can't take from you. They can't steal from you. They can't rob you. And that could be your time, you know, your energy. Cause you know all of that is currency. You know, you, you know people come in, they rob and they, they take, and then you see them doing well, and then you know you feel so drained and you feel so used, and yeah, uh, -uh your intuition is on point. Like I said, whether it's your time, your energy, whatever you was given, you're not doing it anymore. Yeah, and you're opening the door for real love or bliss. Okay, real love, divine masculine, divine feminine. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit. I'm getting somebody is coming into your life or somebody can be currently in your life that you can talk to, that understands you, that gets you. Um, it's going to feel like you knew this person, you know, <laughs> many lifetimes, you know. Um, this is not somebody who's going to judge you. This is like a non-judgmental -judge, um, kind of connection. Yeah. This is somebody who's going to love you for you and would never, ever try to hurt you, I'm hearing. Like, this is somebody who's going to be here for you forever. Give me more on this energy. We have judgment. You're definitely awakening. Yeah. And because you have awakening, um, because you have awakening, because you have ascended, it's causing a tower and, you know, these people like who tried to steal from you, cause conflict, try to send, you know, entity attachment to you. It's causing um, conflict because this is something very powerful. These are two major arcanas. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Swords, Spirit, so that's the truth. Yeah, you had broke, you had, you had some type of breakthrough. 
Yeah, you 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 also receiving clarity, like I said, where the energy was coming from, you know. How to be better, how to do better, how to, you know, make this energy go away, you know. You started focusing on yourself, the chariot. I see you moving forward. Look, the justice. I told you you're going to get justice. Okay. I feel like you had the, the self-discipline, um, you know, to persevere. The hard work that, you know, you put in a lot of hard work to stay focused. And because of that, you made a lot of progress on yourself. I'm, like you mastered some type of skill. Mm -hmm. The strength card, the temperance. Yeah, whoever you are, you are earth angel. I'm hearing, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm hearing, I'm so proud of you for staying strong. Thank you. I just heard that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm hearing going through thick and thin. I'm so proud of you for staying strong. Yeah, like whatever you facing or whatever you was facing is being worked out. Awakeness, Darcy. Yeah, the will of fortune is turning in your favor. You didn't give up. You've been through a lot, but you didn't give up. You kept going. Yeah. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Look at this. There's a connection that's coming in. I'm telling you, this is real love. Queen and King. Yeah, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. A twin flame connection. Yeah, I can't make it up. Two of Cups. Yeah, there's real love coming in. Okay. I'm hearing this love is forever. Okay. Page of Cups. Now, so, you know, somebody could be going to come in and apologize as well. Page of Swords. Somebody who's watching you from afar. Okay. This could be old because you, you're now getting justice for some, for, you get getting justice for, um, for a, a situation for somebody who tries to cause conflict in your life. And whoever this person is, they were shooting, they was giving you the evil eye because something was ending. Mm -hmm. We have the Emperor. Ten of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, you got something that's coming in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's a divine counterpart <clears throat> that want to apologize, that's watching you. Okay. Who's this emperor? Queen of Cups. Somebody's in love. Five of Cups, Six of Cups. Somebody from your past is in regret. Mm -hmm. They reminiscing about you. Somebody is really broken because they in love with you. And something was laid to rest. Yeah. Whoever you was in a relationship with, you could have decided to be, you know, single and just focus on your, you know, your career and yourself. Yeah. You could have definitely awakened that someone was trying to keep you stuck or manipulate you behind the scenes and I feel like whatever this was it was like this was one this was like the last like it was a you had to you had to break this this cycle this you had to um, break this chain thank you spirit because like I always tell you it don't be the people you know that be bad or you know not good because whoever this person is, they have the potential to, you know, um, be divine. But, you know, whatever spirit with this entity attachment, whatever spirit that they're operating in, it, can, it makes them look really ugly. And you have broken some type of cycle. So whoever, whatever this entity is, they can't have its way with you anymore. Yeah, it can't have its way with you anymore. You got new love, real love, period. Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Sun card, Three of Wands. Yeah, you're moving on. You're standing your ground. 
you no longer dealing with player like energies people that play games and, and players yeah that put you through all this crazy mess and conflict and stuff spirits like no mm -mm. what's the six of cups energy four of wands this definitely could be um someone that um you sh this was definitely could be a divine um divine connection somebody knew that they was dead wrong for something spirit say yes definitely a divine connection this somebody from your past you got the death card there's a transformation here you and this person could have definitely went through an awakening you and someone else three of swords okay someone is hurt okay Thank you, Spirit. Six of Swords. Someone from your past that you shared a, a, a divine connection with, they're brokenhearted because the Six of Swords, you're moving on. Yeah, you went through this transformation. Yeah. You have ascended. And somebody is in a lot of regret because they they in love with you. But because you have done, whoever you are, whoever, because of all the work you have done with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups, it's also a lot of self-love. You no longer um, resonate with this past energy anymore because you have ascended. You broke the curse. You don't, you don't, you don't resonate with that energy. And somebody from the, your past can feel that you're moving on, you're letting go, and it hurts them. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles to the World card. Yeah, you're done working with someone. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you decided to be this is single, sexy, and successful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Moon card, King of Swords, Seven of Swords. Ooh, yeah. This person had too many secrets. Somebody is upset that they can't lie to you and, and, and steal your energy. Somebody also miss your voice. Like, your vo I'm hearing the softness in your voice. Your voice could be very soft. Somebody miss hearing your voice. What's the moon card? Something could have happened three years ago. What's the moon card? Something could have happened three months ago. We got two threes out here. Eight of wands. Two threes. Mind, body, and soul. Yeah, you're moving on. Eight of wands. Um... This person want to talk to you. It's something about your voice. I heard very soothing, like very soft. Light of wands. But you view this person as a player. Yeah, but it got to do it. But it's in like, it's coming out sideways. <clears throat> this person wants to take some type of action, but they're not sure. Something could happen five years ago. They're not sure. Yeah, two of wands. Something that they're planning. They, they're planning on talking to you, reaching out to you, but they're just not sure. Page of wands. I can't make it up. They want to talk. Six of wands. The king of pentacles. This person wants to have a victory with you. Three of pentacles. But this is somebody who could be already uh, ten of pentacles. This could be somebody who already has a family that's already involved with someone else. That's why you're getting a new beginning. Something could have happened two weeks ago. Yeah, Empress. Yeah, the Seven of um, Cups. Somebody feel like you're going to have options now. Mm-hmm. You're going to have options now. Somebody also know that they can't confuse you, Empress. You see right through them. Yeah, nine is towards day in their head about it. Yeah, you have a, the star card. You have healed. That's why you're getting some type of gift. Something that you've been manifesting and thinking about. You may have thought, oh, it was just a silly little dream. Or it was just a silly little idea. Something that you manifest and you, you're going you're gonna to be shocked that something is going to come to fruition that you really wanted, you know. Three of Cups. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. These could even be friends. Um, something was definitely a painful ending. 
Five of Wands. Yeah, Five of Wands will proceed with Porsches. Yeah, you got a lot of people in, you know, um, in their feelings um, in regards to your ascension because you see now, you see now, you see through the veil, Empress, Emperor. Yeah, Hermit. You're very wise now, you know? Yeah, you're very wise. You can see through this. Yeah. That's why you could be choosing to be by yourself, be alone, and focus on what's important to you. And it could be upsetting people. Yeah. The lovers, because, yeah, you're making better. You're making better decisions and choices in your life. Somebody who you kept allowing back in your life, okay? Whoever this lover, friend, family, co-worker, take it, however it resonates. Um, you're not allowing someone to come back in your life because you see through the veil. And is it, this person could definitely be giving you the evil eye. Yeah. Four cups. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. They feel like they missed out on the opportunity of working with you. Mm -hmm. But this person was definitely a stillmate in your life, Spirit is saying. Let me get you guys some signs. And then we're going to close it out. Matter of fact, I need to get you guys a fortune cookie. Let's see. Yeah, something wasn't working. So you decided to, you know, you know, solve the problem and focus on you. Spirit is saying, say what's on your mind. So whoever this person is that wants to reach out to you, they could definitely be want to reach out to you to say what's on, on their mind, but they scared. Um, yeah, this is somebody who keeps constipating because they're, they're scared, but there's something that this person wants to say to you. Okay. You could have definitely spoke your mind. Okay. And made a final decision. But I feel like somebody wants to say what's on their mind to you. This is somebody who you was there for, you was, who you gave to, who you know, who you showed out for. Somebody could be in a lot of regret for not giving to you or not saying what's on their mind. Yeah, because that King of Swords, the Moon card to the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Somebody is hiding, you know, um, it's like hiding some type of truth. The moon, king of swords, seven of swords. They hide in some type of deceit. Something there. Yeah, whoever this person is, they hide in some type of deceit that they want to say what's on their mind about. We have the number 3, 9, 10, 26, 35, 49. Okay? Uh, let's get you guys some signs. And also, matter of fact, let me get you guys an angel message. Uh, as we close this out, let's see what's up. Angel message of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Give me some angel messages for the collective sun seeds as I close this out. Thank you. We have transition. <laughs> yeah, you have ascended. You have ascended. Nature, Archangel Ariel, Charisma. Yeah, protection from negativity. You're protected. Yeah, beauty. Archangel Jophiel, that's the Empress. Yeah, courage. Archangel Michael. <laughs> Archangel Michael. Wow, Archangel Michael came out with protection. Heavy on it. Uh, Y'all got heavy protection with Archangel Michael. Yes. Infertility in all areas of your life. You guys could be pregnant. Um, if so, congratulations. For others of you guys, you're just pregnant with um, ideas and um, new beginnings. Yeah, you're birthed in. This is a new new for you. Fertility in all areas of your life. Somebody like, uh -uh, I found me a, a good wife or a good husband or somebody found somebody who they feel like they has the potential of seeing, seeing the rest of their life, seeing the rest of their life with. Somebody like, ah, I don't want to mess this up. That's what I'm getting. Somebody like, ah, I don't want to mess this up. 
Yeah, because um, like attract like. Whoever you are, you're attracting someone that's as healed as you. Okay? And I feel like whoever this person is, they've they gone through some changes as well. Yeah? Yeah, you could be seeing, okay, um, number 122, two, signs to release doubt and fear. Time to let go of what is holding you back. That's what you did. And when you did that, you broke some type of generational curse. Um, seven seven sign of inner wisdom, connecting in with spirituality and intuition. Yeah, that's the high priestess. Give me some more Holy Spirit. We got eleven signs of intuition. You are learning to trust your gut feelings. Yep, yeah. that's why that six of swords there. You're moving on because you're. Mm hmm. Two, 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 sign of balance and harmony. Maintain your balance with positivity. Yeah, you're protecting your 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 peace, you know, your inner peace. Um yeah. Your chakras are definitely in alignment. Okay, we have two twelve. Sign to strength and trust. Okay. Um, you need to trust more in yourself and others. So Spirit is saying you need to trust more in yourself because whoever you are, you're very powerful. Maybe you're someone who you did all of this, but you don't give yourself no credit. Pat yourself on the back. You did this. Also, Spirit is saying whoever you are, you know, now that you're moving on, open your heart up and trust again because what's coming in is not like the past confirmation you already completed that learn to trust again you know you have to because where you're going is nothing like your past and we have eight eight signs of enlightenment you have achieved wisdom and found success congratulations sun seeds one two three four signs of progression things align for a new spiritual journey i told you and four 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 Sign of divine intervention. The universe has heard your request. 444. Oh, Angel Bike, wait, play with you. <laughs> you are so protected. You are guided and protected. Angels watch over you with love and encouragement. A lot of you guys have gone into leadership. Yeah, let's get you guys some signs. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Divine. Some signs for the collective. We have Capricorn, Gemini. Somebody about to meet a, a, a perfect stranger. Take that out of today. It's like somebody about to meet a perfect stranger. For a lot of you guys, you already met this person. Okay? Aquarius energy. Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody going to know a good thing right away when they see it. We got Libra and we got Scorpio. Pisces. Taurus, Cancer, and we have Aries, okay? Leo and Virgo. What did they mean all the time? Yeah, somebody said they my meet up when it came to you. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. I'm telling you, you guys manifested this, okay? I love you guys so very much. Claim this beautiful reading and congratulations. Okay. Until we get out next time. Later, sun seeds.